And three, two, one, go! So already we have notes flying into the speakers from all sides. But right now it's just the Red Alliance that comes to a lead. As it looks like both Strike Zone and the Steel Vipers accidentally collide in autonomous. But so far we got a buzzer beater note just in time for our tele out period to start. As the Red Alliance still has a lead. But it's still close enough that the Blue Alliance is working their way back. But now that both alliances activated their cooperation light, that means both alliances only need 15 notes for the extra ranking point instead of 18. That looks like both 95, 58, and 54, 60. That's both the Steel Vipers and Strike Zone. They're in a handshake for making sure that the amp is stocked for an amplification and scoring up high into the speaker. At 97.75, they're getting pushed around a little bit by the Red Alliance. By 84.23, the next express. They were moving. Accidentally got disabled, but they're working out some issues, looking to get back online. 95.58, the Steel Vipers, they, they sink one away from the blue... 5460 though. They're looking to get ready for a Red Alliance amplification right now. As they have successful with one, they're looking to get a handle on another. They're not in the right position. Can they make it right now? No, they can't. At least not while it's amplified. As again, the Steel Vipers in Strike Zone, they're really good at throwing them into the amp and speaker. But it looks like all three of the Blue Alliance robots, they're currently playing defense against. But during the last 20 seconds of the match, we're looking to see all these high notes fly. Looking to see some possible hanging out of both alliances. 54-60 is up. Can they score in the trap? Yes, they can. That's 95-58. They're up in the air as well. But 88-26 was almost there on, with a score of 89 to a Blue Alliance 21. As due to all the Red Alliance robots coming home with four ranking points. 95-58, the Steel Vipers move up into eighth place. 88-26, 